Biological control refers to the predators and parasites of pests. So these might be things like ladybirds, lacewings, hoverflies, damselbugs, predatory insects that walk up and eat their prey. Some of these species feed on pests in the adult stage, but it's actually the larval stages that have the greatest impact because they perform most of the predation. Parasites, on the other hand, are a little bit more cryptic. Parasites live inside their hosts and feed on them from the inside out. And so when we look at a crop, we often don't immediately see the signs of parasitism and we might underestimate the importance of these insects. But they do play a vital role in protecting our crops from pests. So if we take the aphid as an example, there's a very small wasp, the female, will find an aphid and insert her egg into the body of that aphid. There's a tiny wasp maggot that lives inside the aphid. When it's fully grown, it takes over the aphid's body and kills the aphid and then it turns the body of the aphid into its own cocoon. And at that point it looks completely different to a healthy aphid and we can see obvious signs of parasitism. And when the wasp maggot has pupated and changed itself into an adult wasp, it'll emerge from the body of that aphid and start the cycle again. So if we want to assess the level of parasitism of caterpillars, we can simply collect some large individuals like this cabbage white and we can pull them open to see whether they have any wasp maggots in their inside. So I'll just squeeze out the gut contents there. Can you see the tip of my finger there? I've isolated an individual wasp maggot. There's a whole pile of them here. There'd be probably about 30 all up. And the rest of that green stuff is what was left of that, the guts of that caterpillar.